Hi, I'm Josh. Welcome back. This is the third video in our Scotch tasting series. Tony and I just finished filming an episode for Little Wars TV, so to celebrate, let's pour a dram. Last week we talked about the two number one selling scotches in the world, Glenlivet and Glenfiddich. This week I'd like to talk about my two personal favorites for beginner scotches, Glenmorangie and Dalwhinnie. Now, did I, is it Glen Morangie or Glen Morangie? I don't know, but let's throw it back to Will in Scotland. He's our Scotch whiskey expert and he can tell us more. Hi folks, Will here. Today we're going to talk about Glen Morangie. That's Glen Morangie, not Glen Morangie, not Glen Morangie, Glen Morangie. And Glen Morangie, uh, depending on who you believe, comes from the Gaelic, meaning the Glen or Valley of Tranquility. Uh, Glenmorangie also has the tallest pot stills in the industry and it was founded by a man called William Matheson in 1843 and it has been mispronounced by everybody outside of Scotland since 1843. I would not have gotten that right. Uh, most people are pronouncing that one wrong. General Beauregard, please do join me at the bar for a whiskey. And which part of Kentucky is this bourbon from, sir? Most people in the club here enjoy scotch, Tony. And now, I, except for maybe Steve and yourself, you're, you're a bourbon drinker, right? What, yes, sir. What is it about scotch that uh, turns you off? Uh, generally speaking, I don't like the taste of burnt anything in my whiskey. <laughs> well, fair, fair enough. Pete is an intense flavor. You're in luck for tonight because tonight I have two smooth, clean drams that are sweet and mild and there's no smoke. So this is a Glen Warren G, 10 year old single malt from the Highlands of Scotland. So to, an, to a bottle and an honest man who could ask for anything more. To an honest woman. Ah. Hmm. So what do you think? Not bad. No peat. No peat. Smooth. Yep. Yeah, it definitely has a sweet finish. Not bad. So how long have you been gaming with the club, Tony? Um, probably 2002. There were maybe four or five guys before me. It's been a while. Yeah. So wh what's the deal? Where's your Wall of Hero guy? Um, Which one's yours? I, there isn't one for me because, well, because I <laughs> suck. I, I got nothing. Well, all right. Well, all right. So you haven't put one up there, but who would you put up? I mean, what? Give well, me some. I throw me some rich suggestions. What you think? I was up. gonna be a patent guy. But Patton was chosen. Um, Julius Caesar. I need to add a Julius Caesar oh, to, the, okay. to that, the wall there. I think that would be a great choice. Which I think would go well because somewhere here there's a Vercingetrix, if yes. I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yes, that would be perfect. So the, our next jam for tonight is going to be Dow Winnie, 15 year old. To an honest woman. To Carla. And to your Heather. Oh, well, it says here on the bottle, the gentle dram, and now I know why, because that is very smooth. That has a hint of peat. But it's it's much smoother than the Glen Morangie, don't yes, you think? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. A good choice. Thank you. So what's your favorite, um, what's your favorite genre to game here at the club? I, I go back and forth. Um, right now, I've kind of come back to World War II. Um, that seems to be right now where my focus is, whether it's six millimeter or 15 millimeter. Um, I've gone back and forth over the years, ACW, air and naval. Right now, most of my projects are World War II land warfare. 100 years war, right? I've done the 100 years <laughs> war, yes. Um, and medievals are always a favorite. At some point or another, there's going to be a crusader game. That's great. That's the great thing about this hobby is we can just go back and forth through all these genres and um, never be uh, short of anything to paint. So that concludes our video for tonight. Tony and I are going to finish these delicious drams. Let us know what your favorite beginner scotches are. Thanks to Will Stockham over at StockhamsCorner.com. If you're headed to Perthshire and you need a whiskey expert, please look up Will Stockham. Thanks, man. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. So did he turn you? Did he turn you into a Scotch drinker? Didn't he? No. <laughs> no, you know, at one point or another, 
I did. I was never. I, I tried. I was never really into scotch. I'm just not. Well, see, that, it's so close. I mean, the bourbon and the scotch are so close together. I don't like. I enjoy a good bourbon too. My, what is it about? What is it about the scotch that makes it so different? Especially with this, where there's no peat. Like the Glen Warrenjees, particularly, is like there's no. I, you know what? This has got a little hint of peat, but I prefer this to that. Oh wow! Okay. Um, because the I think the finish is better here. Mm -hmm. This has got a little smokiness in the beginning, mm -hmm. but the finish is, is is much better, I think. Yeah, Dalwini is fantastic. 